Frictional machines are based on the fact that some insulating materials such as glass, sulfur, resins become electrically charged when rubbing. In 1660, Otto von Gericke used a sulfur ball generating electric current in discharges after it had been charged. This served to illustrate the theory concerning the forces acting within the universe. The first electric machine was constructed in 1702 by Francis Hoaxby. This was a glass ball capable of being extracted, quickly rotating on a block and electrified after manual rubbing, which allowed using it in various experiments in electrostatic attraction and repulsion and electric discharges within vacuum. Throughout the next decades, especially after the invention of the Leyden jar in 1745, numerous models of an electrostatic machine have been created. Glass balls, cylinders and discs were rotating quickly within them by means of sheaves and handles. In order to electrify them by rubbing, soft leather cushions were introduced to replace the researcher's hand. The charges were placed on large isolated metal conductors. By 1750, electric machine experiments became popular all over Europe and America. Models of various dimensions have been constructed. The largest electrostatic generator built for the Dutch researcher, Martinus van Marum, had two coaxial discs of 165 cm in diameter and the handle was turned by two researchers. The machine was capable of producing charges up to hundreds of thousands of volts, producing sparks up to 60 centimeters long. The portable electrostatic machinery is generally used by physicists, doctors and charlatans for the questionable therapeutic use of electricity. It was considered capable of curing all diseases. Besides, during the last decade, many alternative energetic devices have appeared on the basis of the good old frictional electrostatic machines.